the differences between the string and the wrapper double underscore methods. Now the string method we already looked at. This is a user friendly output, something that will maybe print to the terminal. And by default, when you call the print function on some type of object, it's going to look for this string double underscore method. So in this case, we have some car and we just print out the year, the make and the model kind of in a human readable format, right? Something that makes sense. However, we have another method that's pretty important as well. And this is the wrapper or the representation method. Now, what this is used for is debugging. Okay, so this is something you would see while you're debugging the code. This is meant to be for kind of like a developer output and something that defines what the type is and maybe all of the different fields or values. Okay, so if you use wrapper, you can actually trigger this double underscore method by calling the wrapper function. It's going to give you a developer friendly output. At least that's the way you should implement it. So we would get car, make equals Toyota, model equals Corolla, and year equals 2021. This is kind of the standard format. You're going to write whatever the name of the class is, and then you're going to write all of the different properties and their values.